Throughout history, we hear of individuals who have been dubbed with the title of the Great, such as Philip the Great, Alexander the Great, and Ivan the Great. Why does history remember these men as the Great, while forgetting to mention countries, nations, and millions of other people who have walked to earth? Frederick II of Prussia was one of the pillars that history had so knighted as the Great. He lived during the 18th century and was a clever diplomat, however, is best known for his military exploits. Frederick the Great is a man whom Napoleon Bonaparte regarded as the greatest tactical genius of all time, as recorded in the history of Prussia. He was saying to his army while visiting Frederick's tomb, Gentlemen, if this man were still alive, I would not be here. However, if Frederick II would have died in his youth, he would have been remembered as Frederick the Not-So-Great. Initially, he devoured arts and was intensely interested in the subject. So interested was he in the things not involving the throne or his father's leg legacy that his tyrannical father killed Frederick's best friend while making him watch. Quickly thereafter, he submitted to his father's will, can you blame him, and ultimately his purpose. You may say, well, that would be an easy choice, be king of Prussia or a painter. Yet, as Malcolm Forbes says, it's so much easier to suggest solutions when you don't know too much about the problem. What's holding you back from pursuing your purpose? Is it money? Belief? Family? Age? Life will present opportunities for you to operate in your purpose. However, these opportunities will pass you by if you fail to recognize them. If you're struggling with finding your purpose, watch my YouTube video titled 7 Questions to Discovering Your Purpose. It will help. My study of history has proven one thing to me, that people are not remembered for being good at what they do, the amount of money they make, or even how they look. They are remembered for how they affect the lives of other people. Good or bad, the more people they affected, the more they are remembered. When you find the purpose that God created you for, expand your vision to positively affect as many lives of as many people as you can and then you too will be remembered as the great. The unique thing about these men throughout history is that they readily accepted their name. This was a locker room nickname that was passed out and just their names were literally rewritten with the phrase the great, meaning that they believed themselves worthy of greatness. Do you feel that you're worthy? Two men came from the same creator. One is born a prince and the other a pauper. When the pulper speaks, others just keep walking, ignoring his words, while those same people will run to fulfill any desire that the prince requests. What's the difference? Is the difference money? Is it power? Is it influence? Or does the man who believes that he possesses greatness create such things? Your time has come for your name to be changed from David to David the Great, from Kathy to Kathy the Great. When you were born, the genius of heaven exploded. Don't you dare live this life thinking that you are worth anything less than the title of greatness. I wish you paramount success in the discovery of your greatness. And until next time, I am Stephen Roddy, and this is Monday Money Live, and together we are moving forward.